like a woman or Carla. Okay, so this is uh, our badger set here at home and you can see that they've extended their home out into the garden which is lovely of them but that's what badgers do and if you notice along here we've got a well trodden path between two well used holes that's a badger path and it stands out obviously it's the same route that they take night after night and they know it inside out and diggins that's a badger and uh, they're called snuffle holes where badgers um, dig up worms their favorite food there's a badger hole here but uh, as you can see it's filled up with soil and twigs and rocks and it's a bit caved in so this is a what we say is a disused hole so badgers aren't using this at all and they haven't done for a long time footprints I'll come back to that in a little while to double check but it's looking promising all the way around here and the woods extend a fair distance down and in fact there's between the two properties these woods is just one big badger set one huge badger set and various parts of it. I always leave the forms at home because they get very mucky. There's no point in uh, taking a nice clean crisp form out with you. Bit of paper, pen, map. Get one of these little things and it's basically a GPS unit, a handheld GPS unit, Garmin. So when I switch it on it'll come up with the coordinates or the GPS of where this position is via satellite. It's great. Uh, set survey forms. You'll find uh, everything that we need to list. Uh, the easiest way to do this on my scrap piece of paper is I'll just, you, I'll, I'll write down the, the words down the side, uh, used hole, part used hole, disused hole, then I'll write runs, for example, latrines, and if I use a tally shly dug badger hole, you can see all the loose soil. You can dig down five meters in one night. This shall be coming out any minute. Bye.